a stowaway discovered on a Delta Airlines flight. The FBI now investigating after a man allegedly took a picture of someone else's boarding pass, then used that photo to illegally board a flight in Salt Lake City. The Texas native is now facing one felony count of stowing away on an aircraft. Let's bring in correspondent Laura Ingle. Uh, Laura, what do we know about how this even happened? This is a crazy story, Nicole, and that's right. That's the main question. People are wondering, you know, how he got away with this initially. And according to the felony complaint that you showed there, the alleged sneaky stowaway was able to avoid detection by bouncing between bathrooms on board until a flight attendant realized his ruse and alerted the police. And we're talking about federal investigators who are looking into this who say security footage shows that the suspect who has been identified as 26-year-old Wycliffe Fluorzard of George, Texas, was seen taking pictures of passengers' phones who had their app up with their boarding passes. All of us do that all the time, right? Making matters worse, according to police, the ticket he scanned to get on board at the Salt Lake City Terminal was from a female minor who was flying alone with a ticket that was purchased for her by her father, who, of course, did not give anyone else permission to use that ticket. Fluorzard told law enforcement he was in Park City for a snowboarding trip and had a buddy pass for Southwest to get home. That's how he got through security. But the flight was full when he got to the airport and to the gate, so he needed to get home and see family who had flown in from Florida, he said. He reportedly added he made a mistake, but is now facing those federal charges for his alleged stowaway stunt. We reached out to Delta for comment on this, which issued us a statement saying Delta is cooperating with law enforcement and relevant agencies regarding an investigation into a non-ticketed individual being escorted off flight DL-1863 on March 17th with the aircraft in Salt Lake City prior to a scheduled departure, adding that they are referring all questions to law enforcement after his plan fell apart as the aircraft was taxiing down the runway. That's how close this was. The pilot had to turn around on the tarmac. Salt Lake City police officers were waiting for him back at the gate, took him into custody, and we've checked in with authorities. It sounds like the guy is still in jail, and we'll bring you more as we get it. Yeah, Nicole? certainly an uh, eye-opening situation there, Laura. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.